Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the new Oxygen OS port from the OnePlus 5T, which is an open beta 9.0 with the latest security batch and the latest vendor from our wired. So, without wasting more time, let's start. Okay, guys, so we already saw earlier the OnePlus 5T port, the OnePlus 660 port for our Redmi Note 5 Pro, and that were like almost stable, like there were some minor issues, but now those issues are also been fixed. But there are some OS related options uh, which are not yet fixed so I will tell you that everything in this video so yeah make sure you watch it until end and you watch everything uh, yeah every step of this video and the installation till the end. Okay guys so the first thing after booting the ROM you have to do is go to the dialer then into the settings and you will see this noise cancellation enabled so you have to disable this. Now after disabling this your calls will work normal like the calls work normal you will be able to call like able to receive calls but you won't be able to hear via the receiver. Now after you disable the option the noise cancellation your receiver will work like normal so yeah that's a short fix for it. Also guys one more issue has been fixed which is the reboot so now you can actually reboot the device restart. Now in the last builds the reboot was not at all working so you have to like power of the device and reboot or also maybe power of was not working so you have to like use ADB to reboot the device or reboot into recovery but now it boots fine after reboot as you can see the oxygen was boot animation and yes a lot of like main bugs which were present which were like avoiding you to use the touch your daily driver has been fixed so yeah that's a like pretty great thing as you can see yes fixed also guys one more issue has been fixed so into the hotspot when you view the connected device manager uh, there were like the device list was buggy but now it has been fixed now whenever you connect your devices it will be viewed and your device list will be showing your correct device so yeah that is also fixed now i don't have any connected devices but the developer in the change log sh says it has been fixed so yeah it probably has been fixed so yes guys the Hotspot works really fine so there are no issues at all and also guys this port is based on like Redmi Note 5 Pro or and like Redmi Note 5 AI's new Pi vendor 9.3.2 like 9.3.28.28 so yeah there will be like no extra bugs which you were facing on the older Oreo vendor so yeah and if you have already tried the Pi vendor then it's okay so you have to like revert to a like 9.3.14 vendor if you are on higher 9.3.25 vendor so make sure and also read the description uh, also i will give the link of the rom and some like options there so yeah you can like easily check it and like choose what vendor to be flashed and what not. also guys the remaining bugs are noise cancellation as i already already told you to disable it then the calls will be fine and you can hear through the receiver lift up ambient display like if you are going to lift up and if you want to read the ambient display then it's got not gonna work the one plus face unlock now when setting up the device you have to disable that because it doesn't work and it will mess your face unlock now you can use the google smart unlock the normal one so yeah that is not going to mess up but it, and it will work really well as i already showed you in the older video if you want to check you can check it and uh, there are some issues with expat sd card so yeah that you have to make it in mind and guys that's it for the fixes now let's take a like quick look at it you can see the oxygen os settings the new it's android pi so you can see and this is the open beta so it will be a lot and a lot more stable than before also we have navigation gestures here you can see nav and gestures navigation gestures which work really well and you can see animations and all you can see it's back recent back home so yeah the gestures work really well not like oneplus like oneplus is a very different device and it has like a, a top level hardware but yeah they work on a wired like they should so yeah everything sets up nice finger but also works you can see also guys we have volte working to so like there are actually no issues i don't feel so i am not going to like switch to a rom for some time if you want to be having a stable rom and a great uh, rom don't complain about the battery we have ancient kernel for that so the battery will be also be good like it's an os port so uh the battery will always be like the battery usage 
the battery backup will be lower than USB ROMs. But yeah, this is a port, and actually, we're getting Oxygen OS, so this is a top level ROM. And I know everyone enjoys it, like using it because PUBG and all the works great. And yes, guys, that's it. Uh, if you want such more videos on the new updates on the Oxygen OS or any other ROM out for Wired, I'll be doing it. So please subscribe. And yeah, if you guys like this video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye bye. Nothing else. And the flashing, the installation is like easy. Go to wipe. Go to DLRP, wipe, data, cache. Uh, Dalvi Cat system vendor that's it just leave internal storage and SD card wipe everything else and just flash this ROM the new update and you are good to go so bye bye I'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye